in other news, an obscure metal that could energize our wor world. It's called thorium. It's eco-friendly, and there's lots of it. Many scientists say it could even replace uranium as a nuclear power source. But despite its potential, the metal is yet to gain a foothold in the market. RT's Laura Emmett explains why. We all use energy, but at what cost? Energy security, why many modern wars are fought. The oil's running out, and there doesn't seem to be a viable alternative in sight. But unbeknownst to most, there's an energy source that's clean, green, and abundant all over the globe. Thorium's a nuclear fuel, and its supporters believe it'll change the world. Conflicts that we see today based around energy could go away, and that these energy sources that I'm talking about, which don't emit carbon dioxide or, or greenhouse gases and don't produce dangerous waste, could enable us to have cleaner water, cleaner air, and less intrusion on our environment from energy production. A ton of the silvery metal produces as much energy as 200 tons of uranium, or three and a half million tons of coal. The amount of thorium that it would take to provide all the power to run your entire life is about the size of a marble that big. A group working on thorium in the UK says it hasn't managed to get the British government on board so far, so it's looking to cooperate with countries like Russia. For several years now, a Russian physicist has been proposing to build thorium power stations, but ironically his ideas haven't been taken up. There's a, a lot of focus on renewables at the moment, so, so maybe that's where they, they feel that there's more public support for renewables rather than um, new nuclear build. But I think if they truly understood the potential of thorium, then, then they would uh, realise that it's a good investment. Research on thorium was largely halted in the middle of the last century after a uranium-powered reactor was designed. Many believe thorium also fell out of the spotlight because making a bomb out of it is thought to be almost impossible. But today, not all scientists are thorium converts. The thorium reactors don't really work. They're very challenging. It's a whole new fuel technology which has considerable and very insurmountable problems in my opinion. They would have problems in developing the processing cycle, the way in which you split the fuel from the waste from the reactor. They would have difficulties in actually storing the fuel. Since 2007, cities from London to Sydney have held Earth Hour, turning the lights off to save energy. Proponents say if thorium power became a reality, we could turn the lights back on with confidence. Lights will guide you home. Thorium's a divisive thing. Some say it's a technology that's been tried, tested and found lacking. Others say that because the light water reactor got there first, thorium was never given a proper chance. But while it's cheap, abundant and even a possibility, the scientists here at the annual thorium conference say give it a go. It might even change the world. Laura Emmett, RT, London.